Yes, sir. Could you talk a little bit, little bit about motivation? Well, I, I read about, I read a statement on over Sunday about this guy who um, who started to drop his motivation, and he got when when he stopped running on that negative energy, that he stopped trying to be motivated, he became more motivated. Um, and so that's the paradoxical nature of motivation. And I realized that I personally, I've been running on negative energy all through like these past eight years from the sense of lack and I needed to force myself and impose my will and try to make myself do something. And I started making a shift um, on Monday and just letting things be and dropping that that sense of lack. And, um, sense of what? Sense of lack. lack. And the need the, to be the, the lack is your motivator? I guess I need to be a certain way to, to meet that ideal. I have to be that, and that created. So an ideal. This, this, yeah, this disparity created natural lack right. in my present experience. <laughs> yes, your lack and the ideal that relates to your lack. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. See, there's something wrong with you or something like that, and there's an ideal that would fix it. Mm -hmm. And that's your motivating is for moving from this one to this, trying to do that? Yeah, that's mm -hmm. constant. It's not going to help you with this work, right? See, because that's false. It's false. It's based on a false premise: one, that you lack anything, and two, that there's the ideal means anything. See. So, uh, if you were going to actually work to grasp what's true in any way, uh, you'd have to shift your motivation to grasp what's true. You know. In terms of shaping up while we're here, what? That's different, yeah. Um, that has nothing to do with getting what's true. It's getting a you shaped up. Yeah, but um, how would you, what sort of mentality would you recommend that motivated? Militant people? discipline. Militant discipline. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you don't subscribe to the... Um, let things be, and then things will naturally, you'll, no. naturally, you'll naturally be motivated for No. 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 What about? <laughs> You're naturally this. <laughs> you know, um, you, don't, you don't ever do anything outside of what you're drawn to do, or what naturally befalls you. by following what naturally befalls you. See, now if you've got something in the way, like you know, you're, you've got some kind of negative motivator and you drop that, it frees you from that false uh, relationship. And then maybe you get motivated uh, with so something useful, you know, something more genuine. But that's just because you had some false thing going on that you realize. And then, see the the, the thing is, realize it. But if you think you can uh, let go your way into enlightenment, uh, think again, Yojimbo. <laughs> you could surrender your way into enlightenment. Hey, give it a shot. What the hell? Might work. See? Or maybe you could uh, get the right enlightenment diet. Or maybe enlightenment massage. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, enlightenment wine. Now we're talking. <laughs> You can drink your way into enlightenment, huh? Am I there yet? <laughs> now, I'm not saying, you know, those are on a par. I'm just saying, I never had a problem with motivation, so I can't help you. I never had a problem with motivation. No, nope. never did. Sometimes I didn't want to do certain things or I bitched and moaned about it, you know? <laughs> but I did them. <laughs> it's like, you know? 
Otherwise, I couldn't bitch and moan about it. <laughs> so I didn't do it, you know. For some reason, I came from whatever I'm interested in and what I want to do or what I want to know, I will pursue, I will do it, and I can do it. I can. I can master this, I can know that, I can whatever. Boom, boom, boom. That's always been my disposition. I'm not saying that I was, you know, free or smart or anything like that when I was a teenager. <laughs> Or a kid, I was not. You know, I was an idiot. You know, I was young and stupid. Ferociously so. <laughs> I was ferociously young and stupid. <laughs> Didn't have a problem with the motivation, though. <laughs> Yeah, to me, see, I, I can't relate to the question. I can't relate to, you know, how do I motivate myself? Why is that even a question? You know, what can I do to motivate myself? I, why would you have to? Why would you have to? Do you need artificial things applied to you? Get a cattle prod. Stick yourself in the ass every once in a while. <laughs> Whoa, I'm motivated. Whoa, I'm motivated. I don't know what you're motivated to do. <laughs> you know, why would you need that? Why would you need that? See? I'm, I'm, I just, I don't understand. Now, I appreciate, maybe you do, but I, I don't. It's not, I'm too far gone. I'm, it's like, I, I, have, I don't understand. See, it's like, people sometimes need somebody standing there telling them to do it, right? You know. Rich people, they hire personal trainers. What, what do they do? G give me 10. Now, give me another one. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, give that sit up. Do that thing. Do this thing. You know, okay. I can appreciate that. They, they, maybe they just want the camaraderie. You know what I'm saying? Maybe they want the um, encouragement. They want like, feel like somebody who knows what they're talking about is telling them what to do. And they, and they have to do it because the person's telling them. See, they wouldn't do it on their own. But they're doing it. And then they can maybe correct them and you know, do it right. They, they can paste them, you know, because they know what they're talking about, right? See? And then over and over again, you know. And I can appreciate that. You know? I mean, like, like Brendan and I worked on this door today, a garage door, right? And did I need Brendan? No. Could I have done it by myself? Yeah, well, some of it was very useful to have <laughs> two hands in there. But, but you know, something. See, but the main reason I have Brendan is it's a lot more fun that way. <laughs> we're doing it together. We're doing stuff. We're kicking things around. I got ideas, playing with it like that. You know what I'm saying? See, doing it alone is uh, not that much fun. <laughs> you know, it's nice to kind of you know have another mind to bounce off of. You know, perspective and stuff like that. You know, plus another set of hands on yourselves. Motivation. See, all you have to do is want it. That's all. If you don't want it, why do you want to be motivated in the first place? You see? So, somewhere in there you have to want it. And then you're asking, how do I get motivated to get there? Well, you're an idiot. <laughs> okay? See, because if you have to get motivated to get there, you're not grasping, you want it! And the only way to get it is to do it! <laughs> see? That's how this works. I don't know any other way. Do you know any other way? I don't know any other way. You pursue it. You, 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 if it's a, a physical activity or whatever, you develop it, you know, see? You do it. And you keep working on it until you get it right, until you master it or whatever. You see, if it's consciousness or, or knowing or something like that, you pursue it. You work on it until you get it. See, you endow yourself with that ability. It's called contemplation or whatever, yeah? See? And the more you do it and the more breakthroughs you make and the more you work on it, See, not just making breakthroughs. You know, we're way past just a few enlightenment experiences here. Okay? Way past that. See, the amount of investigation, study, insight, realization that's gone on here is a lot. <laughs> okay? See? Way past just a few enlightenment experiences. 
or a few more enlightenment experiences. Yeah, they're foundational. They're important. 